All right, today we learn how to make boo. And a big ol' welcome back to all you nerds out there. For those of you who don't know, I'm Winstreet. And today's video is all about boo. You probably already know quite a lot about this elusive enemy, but there's much more to them than meets the eye. Whether you remember Boo as that adorable shy creature that covers their face as you look in their direction, or as anxiety and fear incarnate as several Boos slowly phase through walls and block your ability to maneuver, there's no denying that they're one of the most fascinating enemies in Super Mario. In today's video, we'll be looking at the most classic form of Boo, the one that slowly hunts you down whenever you're not looking at them, but then freezes up just like my brain would whenever the teacher chose me to answer something in class. There's several different mechanics we want to hit here. First, of course, the Boo will be able to travel through any solid objects. Boos will only be able to move while Mario's not looking at them. And for some reason, Boos have terrible aim, so they will travel either slightly above, towards, or slightly below Mario. Taking a look at what I made, one of the key mechanics is Boo's ability to follow or stop while switching between both animations. I was also able to figure out how to make going through objects super easy using force to move Boo, which means they'll go right through solid objects without any additional coding. And then what really adds to the gameplay is the target mechanic. Occasionally the Boos will go below or above Mario, which will give it that more realistic feel when multiple ghosts chase Mario at the same time. So let's dive into the code and see how it all works. All right, first we're gonna need our object for Boo. This is gonna have two separate animations, one for idle and one for attacking. Inside the variables, I have a single variable for Y position, and this will allow us to go above and below Mario, and then no behaviors. Inside of our events, the first piece of code is just including my global event sheet, which is all the code for my previous Mario videos, and that'll allow Mario to run around like normal. After that, at the start of the scene, I'm gonna go through each instance of Boo and go ahead and set the Y position, and this position is gonna be on Mario's Y position center, and then I use random and range to either grab negative one, zero, or one and multiply it by 24, which means I'll go 24 pixels above, below, or right on top of Mario's center. And additionally, I start a timer called new position, and I'll be using this timer to decide when to reset this Y position I currently have. Next, we have Boo looking for Mario, and if Boo's within 180 pixels, Boo will attempt to head towards Mario. So we'll check the new position of our boo and see if it's more than one second in the making. If it is, we'll set a new Y position. Otherwise, we will check whether or not Mario is looking forward or backwards. And we do this by checking Mario's horizontal, whether it's flipped or not. And that allows us to check the X position of boo compared to Mario. So if Mario is looking to the left and boo's X position is smaller than Mario's X position, that means Mario is looking in the direction of Boo. And then, of course, the opposite for the opposite direction. And this is how we decide whether or not Boo needs to be forced into the idle position and no longer move, or into the attack position. And then every tick while Boo is in the attack position, they'll also be getting a force of 40 pixels towards Mario's center of their X position, as well as that random Y position that we have Boo holding. And the last bit of code, we just need to check whether or not Boo is to the right or to the left of Mario, and then we'll just flip Boo accordingly. That way Boo is always facing towards Mario. And voila! Congratulations, you now have the Boo mechanic for your video games. If you have any questions or concerns, leave them below in the comments. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time. Peace!